Kathy, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Barbara. I, um, I mean, wh what a movie. Here you pay, play a real life character, uh, Bobby Jewell. Did you meet her? Yes. What was the interaction between you two? Well, it was my birthday and she baked me a pound cake. And we met in the offices at the production office. And she brought a copy of the magazine article that was written about Richard and herself uh, from Vanity Fair. Um, uh, Marie Brenner's article about an American tragedy and um, the emotion of the um, tragedy that happened to them is still very vivid in her and she was brought to tears several times and um, she was also they gave her a script which was very right to do so that she could so I remember um, they had said in the script that she had a side business making pound cakes, and she said, no, nope, never happened. <laughs> you know, she'd go through it and say, no, nope, no, nope, never. I'd never call him this. I only called him Richard, you know, and so it was good to clear all of that up because it kind of made me then understand it wasn't this lovey-dovey relationship, although she was, they were so close. She was a very strict mom. Was she present while you were all shooting or not? No, we asked not mm -hmm. to have them on the set because, because I think it would have been distracting, and... I, I didn't want to impersonate her. I wanted to capture her essence and her emotion. And here you work, you are a legendary actress working now with a legendary director. How was the collaboration with Clint Eastwood? Um, I loved it, although I have to <laughs> confess that the first big night that I worked with him, I had come and done a little bit here and there, and it was a night shoot, and he's never in his director's chair. He's always up running around. And no matter where I turned, it seemed like I would see his chair and I'd see Clint Eastwood in gold letters. And I swear, every time I turned around, it was like the letters kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So it took me a while to get over the um, excitement, the nerves, the um, wanting to do really well for him. It, it was, uh, it, I had to get over that a little bit, you know, because he's such an icon and he's done incredible films. And to, to be a part of this is just, I can't tell you what an honor it is for me and that I think we've all done done it proud. That's interesting you mentioned that, Kathy, because you have been doing this for so long. Do you still get nervous? Sure, um, because each role is different and you start from scratch. Just because you may succeed in one doesn't mean you're gonna succeed in another. It is a craft, it's an art, and we don't always hit the mark. Interesting, I mean, um, but you have won almost every award possible. You've won, won the Oscar, everything. Um, does it change after you've been recognized at that level? Or doesn't it change, or it doesn't change a thing? Well, um, I, I, don't, I don't like getting caught up in the award um, aspect of it. I think that's really going down the wrong path. Um, I've been in the business now for 50 years, and I was trained to respect the craft. I was trained to reach for um, a, an, an experience that the Greeks would have called a religious catharsis. I know that's probably crazy and old-fashioned, but as an actor, I want to bring humanity to the characters uh, because it's through our humanity that we can inf uh, empathize with one another. And I think now more than ever, we need that in the world. And I. That has always been my purpose, and I'm not about awards. I'm not about uh, publicity. Um, uh, so I, I'm about wanting to create a character that moves people in a very deep way.